So it's at this time that Stephen is being stoned. He's literally at the point of death. and He's going to fall at the feet of the missionary that we know of as Paul, the greatest missionary ever to walk the face of this earth. And what does Stephen do as he is nearing the end of his life? Stephen prays. And on top of it, he asked God to forgive all those who are killing him. Stephen gives it over to the Lord. Stephen lifts his faith up to God and he just rests in him. And today he rests in eternity. Yes, we overlook Stephen. We overlook him often. And th this man is a key point in our walk. Had he not taken this step and had he not fallen at the feet of the greatest missionary, we may not be the church that we are today. And yet here we are together. Don't overlook that fact. Don't overlook the fact of all these people in our past that have led us to where we are today. What is interesting is that at the end of Stephen's life, Stephen never knew that he would be the first martyr. Stephen didn't know that he would have to give his life for his faith. And yet in the end, he chose to do just that. And on top of it, he asked God to forgive all those who are killing him. I don't believe that you or I are going to have to give our lives for our faith. but. We choose every day as to whether or not we will stand up for that very faith. Do you believe that you have the resolve? Do you believe that inside you, you can do that? Do you believe that you can die to yourself and be a person of faith who will live for Christ just as Stephen did?